Okay, everyone. So today we're going to be learning how to program a couple different beats using the sequencer in Soundtrap. All right, so you're gonna wanna add a new track. I can delete my old one here. And go add a new track. And then you wanna click drums and beats, right? So right here you'll see what is this called the sequencer. It's also labeled patterns. And it's very akin to a real life drum machine, all right? So it's built on the grid which is, think of it as 16 little blocks all in a row. And you can decide what each of those blocks sound like, right, as they go in time linearly. So if you click uh, play right now, you'll just see this little dot move down it. And you may hear the metronome, which is on right now, all right? So go ahead and set your metronome to something a bit slower than 100. Let's try 80, or let's do a little bit faster, 85. Confirm. Now notice that your metronome is slower and this little thought is moving slower. Great, so let's put the kick drum, which is the big oomph, bassy sound of a drum set. This one right here, which you play with your foot. Let's put that on each first beat, right? So that's on the one, the five, the nine, and the 13. The one, the five, the nine, and the 13. And we're going to put kick drums on the one, the five. So we're gonna put kick drum on beat one, beat five, beat nine, and beat 13. Or you can say the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, the one of each beat, right? So now we're going to put the snare. And the snare is this piece of the drum set right here. And it has a kind of a psh sound, right? And it makes that sound by having little corrugated pieces of metal underneath the drum called the snare, right? So let's go ahead and program that on two and four. All right, let's listen to our beat. Great, now we're going to program the hi-hat, which is our first cymbal. Now, cymbals are pieces of metal that sound a certain way, depending on how big they are, what kind of metal they're made out of, right? If you ever banged on some pots and pans, it's similar to banging on a very, very cheap cymbal. All right, so let's put the hi-hat on every other 16th note. So they are actually eighth notes if we decide to divide the 16th notes in two. We could say that the kick is on every quarter note, right? The snare stays for almost a whole half note, exactly a whole half note, right? If you were to count this into the next bar coming back, it would be a half note. And this one here is on every eighth note, right? So let's listen to that. Great. So this is a very, very simple rock beat, which has kick called four on the floor, because it's one, two, three, four. The snare is on two and four, and the hi-hat is on every eighth note. Now let's make this a little bit more exciting by adding more parts of the drums in. So let's go add, and it added an open hi-hat. So let's go ahead and throw an open hi-hat. No, why, how about anywhere? Let's just uh, pick a random spot here. Let's listen to that. It gives it a little like forward moving lilt. Let me go ahead and throw it here randomly. Kind of cool. How about we accentuate this hi-hat with it? Let's go ahead and add some reverb to this drum set. And reverb is like putting your drums artificially in either a really tiny room like your closet or a really big room like a cathedral. Right, let's go ahead and add some more things. Let's choose what we wanna add by clicking these little down arrows on one, right? I'm gonna actually do some high tom on this one. Or you know what, let me try that again. Let me go high tom on this one, mid tom, add, and let me do low tom. 
and let me do some sort of uh, let's try something like that Add a little bit of reverb. Let's change the sound of the drum set. Hey, there we go. That's a cool sound. Let's speed this up. Very cool. Now let me show you how to export this drum set. So first we want to title our song. Let's do cool beat I made. All right? And I go save. Let's go exit studio. And now it's mixing. So when it's done mixing, you can check to see if you just need to refresh the page. It'll say here on these three dots, download. And you can just click download and it'll download it as an MP3 after it's done mixing. And mixing can take, depending on your internet connection, anywhere from a minute to 20 minutes. All right, cool. Thank you so much. I hope you have fun with that.